Telemedicine is dramatically changing the practice of medicine in a whole variety of ways, from inpatient services uh, to outpatient services to monitoring patients' health at home. What we're finding is more and more patients want access to specialty care, and telemedicine is a great vehicle for that because it allows a patient to have access to specialists that they don't have in their community. The technology is very user-friendly. Today, it's pretty much turn the switch on and go. And the technology is so clear um, from the patient side, which is the most important side, it's virtually like having the physician in the same room with you. I love telemedicine because I'm able to provide a higher standard of care to children um, at an earlier point in time. So it's an ability for our expertise to be able to be extended out into the community. And by using telemedicine, multiple other people can become involved, render more information based on their assessment of the situation, and ultimately that patient will get the best care possible. It allows equal health care, regardless of payer status, um, regardless of ability to uh, pay for transportation, um, and it provides it in a, a timely fashion. The telemedicine appointment meets the same standard of care as a face-to-face -face appointment. So patients um, have the same level of confidentiality and in information security and privacy with their telemedicine appointments as they do with a face-to-face -face visit. VCU has a long history of telemedicine. We've had it in our system for um, almost 20 years. We've had over 30,000 encounters uh, using telemedicine. We're seeing an exponential growth of that uh, at VCU. We have state-of-the-art equipment here in the hospital, and we've placed equipment with our partner sites. For example, with the Department of Corrections, we have well over 30 sites throughout the state that have um, state-of-the-art, uh, high-definition teleconferencing equipment. We also have partnered with Riverside Health System, and they have equipment in their emergency room. We have outreach to Fredericksburg, we have outreach to Winchester, we have outreach to South Hill, and we're planning a number of other sites uh, throughout the state. I think specialties that focus a lot on communicating information, um, risk assessment, those types of things are well suited for that type of model. I think telemedicine provides a way of delivering that service um, and patients can therefore stay in their community. So I think it's not only convenient, but it also increases access and it saves money. In the rural areas, there's a particular demand because there may not be a psychiatrist for up to an hour away. Very quickly, within the first minute or two of the interaction, the awkwardness has gone and all of a sudden they, as do I, feel like we're just talking to each other in a room. And it lends itself very beautifully to therapeutic interaction. Normally, if I saw them in the clinic, I'd only be able to see one or two inmates in an afternoon. Now I can see five, six, seven inmates in an afternoon all throughout the state. The quality of care we're providing is much higher doing it this way than it ever was when we were just seeing the inmate in person and communicating strictly by paperwork. We're much more successful in treating their HIV to the telemedicine program than we ever were when we were seeing them in person. Telemedicine affords the opportunity of having a centralized group of subspecialists that then can provide that same standard of care in an urban setting out to even the most remote rural settings across the Commonwealth. These physicians are working in institutions where they're the only person at the bedside when a child is critically ill. We ultimately come up with the best possible care for that patient um, because we have everybody's point of view.
part of our strategy has been to utilize telemedicine in support of the centers of excellence. As we continue to expand our footprint across the Commonwealth, more and more physicians want to be connected to an academic medical center. And where our faculty have the expertise and where that expertise could help keep care in a community, our goal in regional outreach is to support that care staying in the local community. There are a lot of people who are going to be getting access to health care who have not had it before. And so what we're trying to determine is what is the role of remote home monitoring in the care of those patients? Because we'd like to figure out if there are ways that we could reduce those readmissions, we could reduce the ER returns for patients who leave here and are discharged but need a little bit of help uh, once they get home. What we can help you do is fill up those gaps that are um, in your level of expertise so you can give better care to your patients. And the patients like it because they don't have to come up to the big city that they may, may not be used to uh, coming to. And the physicians like it because there's immediate feedback in terms of their questions that the patients might have. There's a whole spectrum of help that telemedicine can provide because no one physician knows it all.